lift up your head onto the hills from where does your health come from. Now, over here, your health will never come from the statue. Your health come from the Lord. But look over there. There is a, a statue there that someone has written something. Who did it have? It's just a replica. It's just a statue of the one of not the one who created the Buddhists from the skies. This is just a statue. Uh, so this is the uh, west gate. We went through the east gate and this is the west gate. So that is the statue. Anything else about the statue? How long it's been up there? Oh, the statue basically it represents the uh, uh, Konfuanochi. Uh, it is believed that Konfanochi didn't die, but he lost, and no one knew where he went to. Uh, uh, legend says that he said he's going to find an antidote to death, because during war a lot of people die, uh, and then sickness also makes people die. So he's going to find an antidote, uh, a medicine that will be able to give to human beings that will live for longer, uh, uh, years on this earth went and never came back. So no one knows where he went to. So he, um, so he disappeared like the magic. He disappeared, he did, exactly. Like, 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 like. He just disappeared, yeah. Uh, we are at a cultural center now. Cultural center. You mentioned about Primpley right. Museum. I've never been there, but uh, is it worth it to go in there? Yes, yes, it's worth it for you to. Uh, they will also tell you that uh, they do not allow lot of pictures and all these things. But whoever is there, if I talk to the person, the person agrees with that. You'll be nice, sir, but, um, but I understand us how it is when you come to the, when you come to Kamasi, the limited of recording. It's a fact administration. And you know, still, still, I still have a lot of people in Accra that have never been to Kamasi. I mean, uh, African Center diaspora. Yeah, it's true. Um, so, you know, my theory and my science of what I'm talking about is real. Uh -huh. um, because they are not, they don't understand how cultural uh, and important uh -huh. Kamasi is. Okay, so please, uh, this is the cultural center. And over here, there is a hustle free place where you move from shop to shop. You have a variety of items. Talking about painting, talking about clothing, talking about brass, talking about drums, talking about a whole lot. So uh, uh, we will move in there for you to see, and then also we will visit the Prempre Museum. Uh, Prempre was also one of the kings in uh, Kumasi. Uh, there is a museum here meant for him. We will see the way they cook for him, the way the uh, things are set up at his palace, the way things are set up at his uh, uh, kitchen, and then things that he used and many other things. So we'll also go to Prempe the second museum. Yeah, it's probably best if we just go there first and then okay. we'll give people a chance to shop around. Yeah, then after that we'll, we'll move to the shop. And then for so those we'll who the don't want to shop, museums. they can just go hang out at Ike's Cafe uh, and, Ice and, and, and relax for a little bit. Yeah, Ike's Cafe is just I'd, around the corner. Just here. It's just oh. a walking distance. Oh, okay. So okay. once we finish on the museum, if you don't want to do any shopping, you can just hang out at Ike's Cafe. Yeah. But you should not come on, man. Alright, so Prempe Museum is good? Oh, yes. Can we walk from here? Oh, yes. We will we'll walk from here too. Yeah, let's just yes, go check it out since we've never even been there before. Okay, so we can go. Oh. Alright, so family, we're here in Akota Center. This is one of the nice little administrative building. And one thing I love about Kumasi from you see Adinkra symbols everywhere, which is. This is the only part of the world that have these symbols that represent everything, right? There's nowhere else in the world, right? No other country, no other parts of Africa that has similar to a Dinka symbol. Do you know that for a fact? Yeah, Dinka symbol. So I've always tried to find out if other countries have similar symbols and meanings and things like that. Are you going to say no recording? Everybody's no recording. No, no. Yeah, you have to do it here. <laughs> <laughs> this is what we do. Uh, 
I'm gonna make a video call. The reason why people don't come to Kamasi is because no one wants you to record anything. As soon as I was over there, I started hearing people busted about us recording. <laughs> we have got to move okay, into the 21st century. Let's I'm, go I'm being real. Just follow me. 21st century, and 21st century is video documentation, pictures, sharing information. Yeah. So I should be receiving a check from Ministry of Tourism. And, yeah, that's what I should be receiving in all of the countries I've been to. We have documented everything and put the emphasis on the importance of why you should be here and what we're doing. Come here. Please come over. Come here. Come come here. So we're taking a nice little stroll to this park area. Yeah, but seriously, unfortunately, you have these issues with recording. If you want people to come somewhere, you must share the documentation. Because it's not like people just know about all of these things. I've put a lot of things on the map that people wouldn't know about, been to countries and recorded and documented things that are just not out there in the public view and eye. Okay, you are out. Let's do what this restaurant still is still around Kentish? Yes. Kentish. I thought I thought Ike's Cafe put them out of business. Oh, it's true. <laughs> <laughs> it's funny, right? <laughs> Ike Cafe fooled them up. <laughs> yeah, that's one of the places we used to eat before Ike's Cafe opened up. So I'm sure other people had the same situation, where once Ike's Cafe opened up, they just stopped going here, which no. is no comparison. Yeah. Family, beautiful palm trees. You know, that's one thing I love about being in Africa, and this nature comes to life.